Now, Second Life is an online uh, virtual world. It's a three-dimensional world, although it shows up on a flat computer screen. And it's a full um, social media operating structure. So you can have groups and you can send mail and you can send messages. But in addition to those sorts of things, it allows you to have full telephony and to talk with your students in avatar form. And they can go in and virtually explore um, islands and worlds and it allows them to interact with other avatars in speech and also in type chat. And so you can walk and you can fly. UNO had received a Board of Regents grant to build a uh, group of islands in Second Life to facilitate universities using Second Life for whatever they wanted. And we set up a research study using a multi-facility consortium to facilitate nursing journal clubs in Second Life. I've never done video games and I've never done gaming and this sounded like something I really wanted to learn and especially something that I thought would be innovative to help nurses learn. Traditional journal clubs require face-to-face -face meetings and there's been well documented in the literature uh, in the nursing arena as well as in other disciplines that there are certain barriers to participating um, in a journal club. Some of those barriers include that it requires people to take time away from busy schedules and from family life to actually get to the meeting site. Participating in a journal club in Second Life uh, cuts out a lot of your travel time and child care issues. It's very efficient, uh, cost effective. We consented uh, 37 nurses from seven different facilities uh, around the metropolitan New Orleans area, including the Bayou Hospitals and Women's Hospital in Baton Rouge. And uh, we had a total of 22 nurses that completed the study. And by completing the study, they completed a pre-questionnaire and a post-questionnaire about their competencies and skills in critiquing nursing research. And also, they completed a total of four uh, sessions, which included an orientation session, two journal club sessions, and a debriefing session. So what? the virtual world or Second Life is, as our example of a virtual world does is it puts back into online learning the possibilities of really doing real-time collaboration. I learn better if I'm in a room with people that I can interact with and ask questions and get those questions answered in real time. You know, that's, uh, that's just the way I learn best. And Second Life affords me that. And then the study did show that they did acquire the critical appraisal skills that a journal club can provide for nurses. I think Second Life is a, a powerful tool whose full implications we do not yet appreciate. Um, not only for interpersonal and social learning, but um, professional growth and development across all disciplines. And I think that that's a, there's a sort of layered reality that you have and and I used to think well it's, it's it's not real in Second Life well no I've come to the conclusion that yes it is real in Second Life but you have a layered epistemology where you have you know yourself as an operator of an avatar in Second Life who has some features that are like yourself and some that are different really I found the Second Life experience to be almost the exact same as actually sitting there face-to-face -face with other nurses. Patricia Benner and her, and her colleagues in the Carnegie Report actually call for a radical transformation of nursing education. Using strategies such as virtual learning environments can meet this call for uh, transforming the way we educate our nursing students. 